Well, what's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies. You know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's had a great day. It's, you know, Taco Tuesday. I hope all your taco dreams come true. Uh, me, I've actually been here working at the Red Brick House. You know, that's what we do here. We do a lot of work here at the Red Brick House. It's cold as a mother humper outside, so I've been doing some stuff in here trying to get ready to start sanding out the floors maybe we'll be able to get to that tomorrow um Shaq Leonard Shaq Leonard so l let me start off by this l let me go through that uh w w let me get Philly 500 out the way because he is excited let let's get this out the way you might do it King Ding by here hope everybody's having a great day hope you guys are doing well we're hanging in there <laughs> I'm sorry. I have been sitting here for about 10, 15 minutes just cracking up laughing because once again, the Dallas Cowboys blew a golden opportunity to screw the Eagles. And maybe that's what we should be talking about. Golden. Okay, you see this hat right here? This is a golden eagle. You can get this hat on the Eagles website. It's the golden era of Eagles football. What okay. has to happen, what needs to happen, right. how, when, where, why, I don't know. But it just does. The Cowboys made a big mistake today letting Shaq Leonard leave the building. Now, before we get into all of it, if you're new to the channel and you like the content, <laughs> I'm sorry, this is awesome. Make sure you hit that like button. More importantly, make sure you subscribe to the most censored. Uh, the do, most do throttled Eagles, okay. uh, Eagles content creator. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it there. So, Eagles, after, okay, he, here's what's funny. First, we heard that the Eagles were in deep for Shaq Leonard, right? We heard that, you know, and, of course, he's been talking, and I, I heard through the grapevine that he was talking to both franchises, okay? Um, the Cowboys, of course, we know the Cowboys aren't going to pay too much for anybody. Be that as it may, of course, the Eagles, with Cunningham having a hurt hamstring, um, definitely have a need uh, for linebacker. That's not to say that we're not razor thin. We can uh, nil near. We can't afford for anybody else to get hurt um, on the team as far as linebackers go. But we've been in better shape than the Eagles have been. And so you look at this and say, man, this was an opportunity to maybe screw the Eagles because there's not too many options out there. Um, and the Cowboys let him go. Now, I'm going to put out here a possibility on the reason why the Cowboys didn't jump all in, okay? The Colts let him go because they had diminished playing time for him, correct? Right? Am I correct on that? Okay, I am correct on that. And they looked at him and said, he's not the long-term answer for us because he had two, not one, but two back surgeries last year. Now, we understand linebackers and having neck and back issues is not a good thing. My question is, because the Dallas Cowboys doctors are supposedly the best doctors out there, people will go through and listen to the Dallas Cowboys doctors more than anybody else's. And could it be conceivable that his medicals didn't come across real good and that kind of been kind of the situation kind of like Odell Beckham Jr. You'll remember how Odell Beckham Jr. We had everybody from the Cowboys, you know, all in. Oh, my God, we got to get Odell. You know, we wined and dined him and everybody thought for sure Odell um, being signed by the Cowboys was a done deal. And he was going to be plugged in and ready to play in the playoffs to help us try and get a Super Bowl. But they came in and it ended up being that the medicals weren't good the medicals were awful and so understanding that maybe when the cowboys doctors looked and said mm, do you want to pay him because he might not be what you think that you're getting that's a possibility um and it may also be a possibility that he wants to sign with the cowboys but he first wants to talk to the Eagles and see what they have. And by doing so, try to get the Cowboys to raise their offer. You know, you, you know, you know, you know, they always say 
don't just take the first offer that comes. You don't want to take the first offer, okay? You always want to be able to negotiate to get the best you can. And, and he's got no allegiance to the Cowboys or to the Eagles. His allegiance is to the almighty greenback. And he's going to want to get paid as much as possible because he knows he's a commodity that doesn't have that many more years left to be able to make as much as possible. And so he's playing it the best way he can. By checking out, talking to people, seeing who wants to pay the most. And we'll see where that goes. Um, but I have a feeling that if the Cowboys were sure that everything was good, that he was going to be a guy that could definitely help right now, that he would have been signed right now. This tells me with the Cowboys, I know they're more cautious than other people. I know the Eagles have no problem with going for um, – and they traded with the Bears to get uh, Robert Quinn, you know, and Robert Quinn wasn't Robert Quinn that was with the Cowboys, and he wasn't the Robert Quinn who, after having a bad season with the Bears, had a great season. He was the Robert Quinn who had a bad season with the Bears and a bad season with the Eagles. The Eagles have no problems if they make a mistake in free agency, they'll just go ahead and say, oh, we'll just do another one. No, no problem. We'll just move on and go elsewhere. And that may be the case again with this one. They'll take a risk on a guy who might not quite, quite might not be there the way you would want. So we'll see how it goes. Um, we'll definitely go and see how it does because our defense is in a whole lot better shape than what the Eagles are. All right, good people. Uh, I'm going to get back to doing some more work. I've been here uh, doing all kinds of stuff. And, and for, for those of you, let, let me show you real quick something. That dresser that was painted white so long ago, bam, I just got finished staining that sucker. Look at that. That cherry color on the, uh, I mean, that dark cherry on that cherry and mahogany. Oh, my goodness. It is beautiful. Just like this place. Every day, I'm hustling. All right, good people. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And always remember, Eagles lose, I'm still going to have a good week. As long as the Eagles lose, I'm still going to have a good week. Everybody loses, I'm still having a good week. Because we're still in it by one game. God damn it. Jason fucking Garrett. Seriously? Is that what y'all went through for 10 years? Yeah. Is that what y'all went through for 10 years? Yeah. Exactly. But we actually had a good team. What? Oh, now, he, now you want to see, see the shit now. When he with y'all. When we were dealing with it all this damn time. How do you fucking call he plays? You how to do it. I don't want to fucking. I don't get this. No, but Jesus. Jesus. Seriously, Jesus. 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 How do you fucking Mark call plays? Like he was over there trash. I'm over here. Oh, oh, my God. I don't believe this right now. <laughs> how, do you feel, how do you feel about the team, my shit? Oh, my God. Like, it's J.C. Gertz. It's J.C. Gertz's fault. Like y'all been saying for 10 years. J.C. Gertz. How the fuck you call? A, how do you call on four, fifth, a third and 15? You call a five-yard play. Then the next play, you go down, you call up a 20-yard play to hit the first down. Then you put Danny Dimes in the position to throw a fucking interception. Seriously? Run the goddamn ball or something to get the field. Or something. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm going to hell home. I'm going to hell home. We all go, you all lost. So don't get mad. Don't y'all can y'all can get pride in my jewel and my anger, but y'all lost too. Fuck God damn it. Shit. Let's go. How in the hell the last four games, the last four games now, oh, three, three out of four, you're driving down the field near the end zone and you throw a goddamn interception every goddamn time. What the oh, hell is that? We got, got all that time. Yeah, yeah. Now you see the shit. What the hell is that? <laughs> What the hell? You call it payback. <laughs> is a mofo. How do you throw an interception payback. 
every goddamn time. Payback? How do you, exactly? How did we get to the?